So I thought I'd do a little uh, comparison between these VSCSR meters I've got laying around here. This is one of my original ones. This is actually the Mark II um, Bob Parker ESR. Um, a lot of people will be familiar with this. It's a J-Car Dick Smith thing. I think it's Dick Smith's, yeah, Dick Smith's. So, um, from Silicon Chip. I think it was originally, yes. That's right, it's all right on the front. I should read. So, I've got the original version 1, this is version 2. I don't know what the difference was. There was a difference between them, I don't know what it was. Um, I think it was slightly more accurate or something. But um, This is some AliExpress special. So is this one, and so is this one. But, this is, you know, a, a proper recognised unit. You know, a lot of people have had these and they reckon they're good. These are not, you know, this is just a budget tester thing. This one here, I haven't used much yet. I've only just got it. Um, you would have seen it in my, one of my mailbags probably about a month ago now, probably. I haven't used it yet. Um, so what I actually tend to do is get a capacitor, or three, and do comparison side-by-side -side tests and see what they all show, um, just out of interest. Okay, so I'm going to use these leads which came with this unit. I'm going to probably just share them between those two. Yes. Um, so it's, I have a capacitor just here, which is a pretty crappy capacitor. It's old and it's a bit rusty. Um, this lighting's not really good. Let's get some more light. Hold on. More light. Ooh. No, too much light. Uh, no, that's not really helping, is it? Oh, hold on a second. No, no, no. This is all going completely wrong. Okay, I won't, I won't do that then. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Um, so this one first. Uh, it's not do automatic. I'm going to do manual. So I want to do capacitor testing and ESR. Duh. Let's hit the quick crap mode first. ESR. Right. So. Let's see what we get. This is not a very good capacitor, it's a little bit rusty and stuff, so it's actually um, it's a pretty old one which I've actually thrown out, but it's sitting there. Okay. 4.1 ohms. It's a 1 kilohertz testing. 5.1 UF. Okay. Um, right. Next one. Testing what? Come on. I have to use this one now. It's a bit weird. Capacity ESR. Uh, between one and three. There we go. It's one. And that's three. Close up. And we go around because so these leads aren't very really good. Um, okay. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Uh, one button. Why didn't I put two buttons on? One point seven ohms, six UF. Bit of a difference between those two. Okay. Uh, sure. Next one. This has a zero zero or anything on it. Zero there. This is quite a good one for doing in circuit testing, so it's one of my favourite ones actually, to be honest. 1.6 ohms, so that's actually really close to this one, which is interesting. So DREE so far has been out by more, it said 4 ohms, didn't it? So um, could be to do with measurement frequency, I might have to go back and try different frequencies on there. Okay. So those two have been very close so far. Let's try this one. And so this one here, I haven't actually used yet. Actually, do I even have a battery in it? Oh, I don't have a battery in it. That's how much I've used it so far. <laughs> let's, put, let's put some batteries in this. Oh my god. Right, hold on. This is. How unprepared is this? This shows I didn't rehearse this at all, doesn't it? It proves I don't rehearse things. <laughs> oh dear. Right. 
Oh, there are batteries in it. Okay. Are they rubbish batteries which are not working? No, he's going. Oh dear. Alright, okay. Ugh. I thought I had batteries in it. Anyway. Let's put the screw back in. And then we'll do some testing. So I, I haven't really used this one yet, so I'm, I'm not really uh, familiar with it. I think I might have played with it a little bit when I got the uh, mailbag done. But, um, right, let's have a look. One point five ohms. So good if capacitor less than forty seven UF. Well, it is. It's only small. So these three agree really closely. So actually, that's quite good. You know. Um, say 1.6 wasn't it? 1.7, 1.5, 1.6 like. So let's look at the first one again. The DER. Okay, go back to manual capacitance, series, do that first, then ESR. And this is using 1 kilohertz frequency. It says 4 ohms. So this says a much higher resistance than the other three. Um, I'm not sure what these frequencies are at. This is, this is 100 kilohertz. So maybe they're all the same, high frequency. Um, right, now, frequency. 10 kilohertz. One point seven ohms, that's much closer. I'm pretty sure these are ten kilohertz. This thing here. I don't know what this is. And this is one hundred kilohertz. There you go, one point five ohms. So that's much closer to this one. So they do actually agree. So you could say that really they're all very accurate. Um at that frequency this is measuring two point seven UF. So, um, yeah, it's uh, interesting, isn't it? So this is, also I wasn't pushing the button hard enough when I did this before. Right. Stick that on there again. So yeah, that's 1.36 now, it's changed for some reason. But yeah, it's, um, you know, they're all fairly accurate, really. Um, it's not bad at all, really. I'm quite happy with that. I, I was quite surprised the results were that close. Um, I was expecting differences with frequency. You know, just, you know, what you get. That's 2.1.8. Oh, I didn't zero it, did I? Zero it again. 1.7. Um, yeah, so that's not bad. Let's hook this one up again. Just re-verify this. Repeat results, you know. go ESR 1.8 so that's probably what I should have done before is actually hook it up before I turn the thing on um, but that's saying 6 UF well yeah it's not really 6 UF is it doesn't scroll is it so um, right so I thought I'd just start a little video and okay let's say dodgy capacitor which according to these is probably actually not that bad so, uh, there we go, there's my selection of ESR meters. Um, I've only used this one a little bit. I haven't liked it that much, to be honest. It's a bit too hard to use in some ways. But, um, I mean, it, yeah, it's alright. This is my favourite in circuit tester. This one's been really good. Um, I've been using this one for in circuit. Um, and it's been given reasonable results, but you can't rely on 100%. Um, almost have to see how this one goes. So. Right, so that's a nice little quick video, 10 minutes. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the comparison. And uh, we'll catch up again. See ya.